If you're anything like me, you've looked at the recent positive reaction to video game adaptations like The Last of Us and Fallout, and you've thought, hmm, what would it be like if the Red Dead Redemption games got their own screen adaptation? And if that sounds like you, then let's talk about it. Moving picture show. Wow, well, that's good, everybody. This is something I've thought about off and on for a while. And by a while, I mean ever since the credits of RDR2 rolled for me back in 2018. Yes, I'm well aware, any time a game gets adapted to the screen, there's a chance it goes horribly wrong. I'm also aware of comments made by company leadership, but hear me out. The Red Dead series features character-driven storytelling, action sequences, and a Wild West setting that, while overplayed by Hollywood for many years, still has an audience. Even if you forget about the response to modern Western TV shows like Hell on Wheels and 1883, the Red Dead series alone has a built-in audience measured in the tens of millions based on the number of copies these games have sold. Now, I know not everyone who bought the game would be interested in a screen adaptation, but my point is this. It feels like there's enough good stuff here to warrant serious consideration. So, what would a screen adaptation for the Red Dead games look like? If a TV show is the way to go, the first thing I think about is how many seasons are we talking about here? I don't think one season per game is long enough to do the games justice, especially with how few episodes are in seasons of modern TV shows. I would be in favor of adapting roughly one to two chapters from RDR2 per season. It might look something like this. I would love for season one to start with the events leading up to the Blackwater robbery, and then they could actually show the Blackwater robbery, since the game never did, and then season one would end where chapter one does in the game. This would probably be a shortened season of around six episodes. Seasons two and three would be full length, somewhere around 10 to 16 episodes each, and would adapt to chapters two and three respectively. Season four would likely be a mashup of chapters four and five, since those chapters are shorter. Season 5 would focus on Chapter 6, and RDR2 would wrap up with Season 6 adapting both chapters of the epilogue. RDR1 would then cover Seasons 7 and 8, or 7, 8, and 9, depending on how quickly they wanted to move through the material. If they went for two seasons, well, the natural breaking point to me would occur somewhere around the time John catches Javier and Bill in Mexico. If they went for three seasons on RDR1, Season 7 would be everything that happens before John goes to Mexico, Season 8 would be the entire Mexico sequence of the game, and Season 9 would be everything that happens after John returns from Mexico. The risk is, of course, the longer they draw it out, the higher the chance the show gets cancelled before they finish adapting both games. Most fans, and networks it seems, don't have the patience to stay with something for the better part of a decade. So the reality is a TV adaptation would probably have to move quick enough to fit everything in in five or so seasons. Would a movie adaptation make more sense than a TV show? If they went this route, I think they'd have to make at least three movies to cover the story well, and possibly more. A potential outline could be uh, the first movie covers RDR2 chapters 1 through 4 and ends with the shipwreck on Guarma. The second movie would cover Guarma through the end of RDR2, and the third movie would cover all of RDR1. My struggle with the movie concept is pacing. I personally think a movie would move through the material too quickly, but I'm curious to hear what others think. After pacing, what I think about most is how closely the adaptations should stick to the source material, and my answer to that is close, but not too close. It's a fine line. I think you have to change it up somewhat to keep the story fresh. I don't think people want to see a 100% faithful retelling of the game because they'll know ahead of time what's going to happen, assuming they've played the game of course. So it's probably a necessity to have some of the character deaths occur in different places, or even have some characters die on screen who didn't die in the game. It may even be necessary to introduce one or two characters who are totally unique to the show or movie, so we have no idea what their story is going to be. Other adaptations have done this without outstanding results. Certain action sequences might also be moved around in order to keep things fresh. For example, if a group went to rob the Valentine Bank in Chapter 2 instead of Chapter 3, that would be a logical way to remix the events from the story. Another consideration is how much Rockstar involvement is going to be needed to make this show successful. If the recent success of shows like The Last of Us and Fallout are anything to go off of, it helps tremendously when those who worked on creating the game are also involved in creating the screen adaptation. And here we come to what I see is the 
biggest challenge to creating a good Red Dead show or movie. Rockstar is, how shall I put this delicately? They suck at multitasking. They don't do much in terms of community management, and it feels like they've all been squirreled away in their workspace for over a decade, working on at most two projects, GTA 5 Online and Red Dead 2. And now, focus has shifted entirely to GTA 6. With the pressure that game has of living up to the hype, I don't see them pulling any attention away from that project until both the single player and the online portion of that game have launched and are in a good state. But the rock star I know also loves money above all else. If they thought investing in a screen adaptation would generate enough of a return in the sales of a game, they would go for it. I can't put a number on what that return would be, but I've got to think there are some people who haven't played the games yet, but would be moved to do so if a screen adaptation was done well. What are your thoughts on the prospects of a Red Dead screen adaptation? Who should be cast as the various characters? Do you think certain streaming services could do a better job of adapting it than others? Do you want a faithful retelling of the games, or do you want a whole new story set in the Red Dead universe? Do you want to see this done as movies or as a TV show? Or are you tired of adaptations altogether and think these should be left alone as the great games they are? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, so sound off. And until next time, make it count. <laughs>